Hello. Thank you for all the organizer. So uh, I wanted to start by telling you that in Lebanon, the last case of cholera uh, we have seen was 30 years ago. So me as an infectious disease physician, um, this outbreak was the first cholera case I, I do manage and see. So the, the outbreak initially, uh, it, uh, it uh, reached Lebanon, it came from Syria, because in Syria it started in, uh, back in June or July. Uh, they had many, many cases. And uh, <coughs> because in Lebanon um, the borders are open and we have uh, the camps of refugee on the borders, so every day they can uh, pass the borders back and forth many times a day. And uh, initially, in October, uh, the first case uh, started with in the camps of uh, Syrian refugees. And then it spread from there across uh, many uh, regions in Lebanon. So on this table, you can see um, the different uh, confirmed cases and uh, total uh, non-suspicious cases from October till June. And in fact, uh, around Janu February, we didn't have any new confirmed cases in Lebanon. So the Ministry of Health um, announced the, the containment and the, the end of the outbreak in uh, June, uh, two weeks ago, because we didn't have any more any confirmed cases since even three, four months. And... Um, As soon as we knew about the first case, the Ministry of Health, uh, on the spot, they uh, formed a, a task force, cholera task, national cholera task force, and start meeting to uh, set a plan and resolve all this problem. And uh, in the task force, we had uh, different ministries concerned. We have also mainly uh, many health organizations, especially the WHO, the UNICEF, the different uh, or health organizations that are working in Lebanon also with the refugee, and the Lebanese Society of Infectious Disease that I represent, uh, a person from the lab, epidemiologist, etc. And we were meeting uh, at least three or four times a week to discuss all the strategies and uh, the plan we were setting. And uh, we, we have also set a case management that uh, the ministry implemented a different uh, hospital. We des designated which hospital, government or, all, or private, uh, will be taking care of these patients. So we designated this in, in each area, specific hospitals, where the patients can go and uh, get the care. And uh, also uh, dedicated teams uh, went and coached all the infection and prevention teams in these hospitals to teach them how to manage cholera cases and uh, uh, regarding the capacity building of the labs, also we provided, uh, with the help of the WHO, the rapid test. And uh, we did also uh, cultures on specific media. And uh, definitely all what we have done was like external funding, because uh, in Lebanon nowadays, the uh, Ministry of Health do not have any budget. We have a major concern with the, uh, following the economic collapse we had during these uh, last two years. So the key achievements uh, are in this table. Uh, it's very important that we had really a rapid response. As soon as we knew about the first case, we moved all the parties and uh, we really worked seriously on uh, containing this outbreak. Um, we also empowered the healthcare facilities with all the infection and prevention measures and the material needed, uh, the treatment, also the oral uh, rehydration solutions, and uh, all the case management, how they should deal and replace the uh, um, fluids for kids and for adults, etc. Uh, we provided also, with the help of all the organization, the wash. We focused on the wash, how to provide clean water, how to manage with the sanitary system. 
And also we worked a lot on the knowledge and the spreading the knowledge and education of the, not only the medical teams, but the population with the help of the media. We conveyed the, the right message for all the population to teach them how to clean their water, what they should uh, do, uh, etc. And finally, the, um, uh, came later the oral cholera vaccines. And also in the vaccination, we followed a strategies by um, vaccinating the high risk area initially. So high risk population, all the refugees first, and then the, the villages where these uh, camps are. And progressively, we spread across all Lebanon uh, the, the vaccines that was uh, remaining, so we, we distributed it across different areas in a strategic way to cover more than 80% uh, of these risky areas. Also the prisons, we considered them like um, a high risk area and we vaccinated the prisoners as first uh, step. The challenges, uh, of course, the wars in the refugee camps, because it's not an ideal camp. They, they have many deficits in these uh, camps and uh, regarding all the water and the sanitation. This, is, this needs a continuous uh, follow-up and monitoring. The IPC deficiency in remote area also is a concern. And um, we need also to ensure a continuity. The lack of knowledge initially was a concern because uh, the, the main uh, uh, the cases of deaths we had were just the first two weeks because the patients were reaching hospitals with diarrhea and were not managed adequately because we do not have cholera. And at the beginning, many areas didn't thought this is cholera and we didn't have the test to test them. But then they picked up very fast. And uh, involving different ministry also and stakeholders is important. Communication is a key. Uh, different uh, ministries, I mean like uh, the Ministry of elect uh, uh, Power, Electricity, the Environment, all these issues because they, were, uh, they matter in Lebanon because we had also a, a power out, uh, out, um, uh, outreach and uh, like just no power for for uh, many hours a day and all the pumping of waters were cut off and everything was uh, disturbed. So these are basic infrastructures that uh, needs to be settled and monitored and this, all this is, needs a continuity. So the priorities, uh, initially, th this is not the list of priority, but the initial priority we have, we need, to, we, we were concerned with this cholera outbreak. We wanted to contain it and we didn't want Lebanon to be like an endemic country. And we know that we had many deficits because of the economic collapse. That's why we were really concerned at the beginning. And uh, we collaborated, all the teams, all the parties collaborated seriously all together in order to stop this outbreak. And we, uh, we succeeded in uh, our mission. And um, now on June 5, the, the Ministry of Health uh, declared the cholera outbreak uh, end. And um, what we need to continue, uh, we reach this status because of implementing the wash across all the area, because of the daily monitoring and epidemiologic surveillance for all acute cholera cases until today, and we are planning to continue. And uh, we worked also a lot on contact tracing. Whenever we have a case, we all the teams, different teams were going, they reached the case, they contacted all the families, the hospital, the, the region, the, the house, the area, everything. Uh, provision of diagnostic testing also is very important to diagnose early and fast and take all the measures. Case management also, implementing a case management have been done and needs also to continue. Um, increasing the capacity building of all the hospitals, especially the public hospitals, for uh, admitting the cholera case is important. Uh, so uh, we are doing water and waste testing in all areas across Lebanon on a, a fixed, uh, so like weekly, until now, and we are planning to continue. And uh, providing the oral cholera vaccination also is a good, it's not the only uh, solution, but this helps in all, all the steps. 
collaborating with all the persons involved also is very important and diffusing uh, the good awareness and knowledge to all the population is a key to succeed. Thank you.